designate is the DNS as a service component of OpenStack. While at the PTG last week, I spoke with Graham Hayes about his work on designate, what they accomplished in Queens, and what they will be working on in Rocky. So thanks for, for doing this. Uh, let's start with an introduction. Tell us who you are and what project you work on. So I'm Graham Hayes. I'm the uh, PTL for the Designate project, which is the DNS as a service component of OpenStack. Tell us about the Queen cycle. What did you all accomplish in the last six months? Uh, the, the last cycle was fairly quiet for us. We were we were recovering from a period of low activity, so we built up some debt during that period. So we spent this cycle sort of paying it off. We started the groundwork for improving our upgrades. So we started the work to allow a rolling upgrade, which means you could upgrade parts of Designate uh, while not upgrading others, so you could have a total no zero downtime upgrade. So the foundation work for that uh, was done during Queen's and merged uh, just after Queen's was released, because we didn't want to upset the Queen's release with half the feature. Um, that was one of the main things. We've started work on improving our dashboard and uh, CLI experiences. I, I'm just making sure that all the, the drivers in the CI is up to scratch and still working properly. I, recently, we were working with the Interop Working Group, so we, we helped find the DNS uh, trademark program, which got approved yesterday at the board meeting. So for now, if you have a, a OpenStack product or a public cloud, you can have a certified uh, OpenStack DNS program as well say you offer a standard interoperable DNS experience for your users. What sort of uh, adoption are you seeing of, of designated? Are you seeing a lot of uh, end users that are, that are deploying? Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people who are interested. Um, and the number keeps growing. And our adoption is going up and up. So the last one, we think we were about 20% in the last user survey. And uh, the people, there was about 40 to 50% of people were interested in deploying designated. Uh, we've, we've, we've been around for a long time, actually, uh, but we were uh, sort of a smaller side project that what didn't have as much uh, visibility. But more and more people are deploying things in the cloud and realizing that DNS is kind of a really important part of cloud or even just basic networking. Yeah. And using something like Designate, where we have the integration with Neutron, so you can auto-create records when you create the server's reports makes life a lot easier for users on deployers. Now, we're still just Tuesday, so meetings are just starting, but what what sort of, uh, what do you already know is coming in Rocky? I, what definitely coming in Rocky is uh, enhanced, we're increasing the amount of record types that we support. There's a lot of people who want us to look at DNSSEC. It's a hot topic now. Um, and operational tweaks to allow uh, zones to be in multiple groups of servers and to allow uh, projects to share D uh, DNS zones between them. So you can have two or three projects update DNS records in the same zone. Um, it's a, that's a big thing, especially for the auto created uh, DNS records. Uh, people may have three or four different uh, projects in OpenStack that are actually pushing records into the same zone. So this will allow that to happen. You mentioned that it's a fairly small project. I assume that you're looking for people to get involved. We're always looking for people. <laughs> so where where do we get involved? So uh, we hang out in uh, hash OpenStack DNS on uh, Freenode and the designate tag in the mailing list. Uh, we have we keep bugs around that if people who are, want to get involved and start looking at the code base, we keep a certain set of bugs that are good introductions to they help they let you look through the code base, understand how it works, and it's generally a small change that will let you go through our process and how we test and uh, how everything fits together. The main thing is just come in and say hello. Uh, we're a friendly bunch. Uh, we can we answer most questions fairly quickly, and we can get you up and running. Um, if anyone uh, is particularly interested, there's some key areas like the dashboard that really 
could use some people with experience or so <laughs> any JavaScript developers who know Angular, please pop in and say hello. But we're more than happy to have anyone jump in and help. Is, is it already exposed in the dashboard now? Or yes, there's a okay. plugin. There's the Hor standard Horizon plugin. Um, it's it, it, it allows for the basic creating of record, creating zones and records and updating them, deleting them. But there's other advanced features that designate that aren't exposed there yet that we should allow users to use. We have a few other key components that allow for allow for the integration with Neutron that we don't necessarily represent very well in the dashboard. I think that we, if as people start using cloud more and more and start using things like the container orchestration engines, people will start needing things like designate more and more. And it's a it's a it's a simple project at heart. We don't we provide a standard uh, API and user interface in front of multiple different types of DNS servers. So we don't need a lot of <coughs> complex, uh, hard solutions, but just people to help out and fix bugs and work on the next generation of DNS problems. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.